the physiology discussions. So today the topic of my discussion will be about the EEG waves or the Berger waves which are also called uh, the Berger waves. They have been named so just because it was the scientist known as Hans Berger who invented a device to look at the waves which are created by the brain at times when in all the states of the mind. So students, it was Hans Berger who invented this device known as the electroencephalogram, which is responsible, which can record the frequencies what are produced by the human brain in different different states of mind. So students, beginning with and since uh, this topic is being very frequently asked in the various uh, competitive exams or the PG entrance exams from different um, in various exams it has been widely asked whether it be the All India whether it be the NEET PG entrance or in the different competitive exams of the medical and the uh, medical fields that is very frequently asked about the different types of the EEG waves or the Berger waves. So students the topic of my discussion beginning with the EEG waves, they are also called as the full form for it is the electroencephalogram waves. That is the waves which are being produced by the brain. So beginning with the first wave what is produced, it is the called as the alpha waves and the frequencies what is there for the alpha waves, waves it is between 8 to 10 hertz so hertz it's the frequency over here and the lobes of the brain what i have uh, specified for each types of waves the first uh, the lobes of the brain what are responsible where the alpha waves are produced it is the parietal and the occipital lobes so the parietal and the occipital lobes of the brain they are responsible for the production of the alpha waves and they having a frequency of 8 to 10 hertz Moving on to the special characteristics because the questions what are asked in the various PG entrance examinations, it asks you about in what condition, for example, they say the waves what are produced during a yoga or a meditation. What kind of waves are produced in, during a yoga or a meditation? Then we need to choose an option that is alpha, beta, theta and delta out of the out of the four options we need to select so that's why i'll be discussing about the features what are there in one that particular type of wave so students uh, the alpha waves they are having a frequency of 8 to 10 hertz produced in the parietal and the occipital lobes but the features what i'm going to discuss you need to emphasize and make these points very clear so beginning with when the alpha waves are produced it is always a synchronized waves. So the alpha waves, they are always synchronized. It is when the eyes are closed, such as in yoga or a meditation, the alpha waves are produced. The alpha waves, they are very regular waves. When the mind is alert and the memory is potentiated, it is the alpha waves are produced. In very skilled artists, musicians and uh, painters, when uh, they are having very distinctive uh, creative abilities when a person is undergoing through. So it is the brain is going to emit the alpha waves. It is the alpha waves what are produced in highly skilled and creative people. So it is the alpha waves also, they are produced in a state of relaxation helps us to improve our memory. So students, this was all the features for alpha waves. So alpha waves, they are the waves what are produced during a yoga or a meditation when the mind is relaxed. Moving on to the next waves, that is the beta waves. So beta waves, they are having a frequency of 13 to 30 hertz. So students, this is the highest frequency what is seen amongst all the waves. So, so amongst all the waves of the brain, the beta waves are going to have the highest frequency that is 13 to 30 hertz and such waves are produced from the frontal lobe of the brain. That is the frontal lobe of the brain, it is going to produce the beta waves and these waves, the characteristic distinguishing feature, it is they are irregular waves. So students, do remember these are irregular waves 
and they are associated with normal waking and consciousness. So students, it is the beta waves what are produced when you are looking at this video. When you are concentrating at a particular thing, when you are most active and alert, it is the beta waves of the brain what are produced. One more distinguishing feature about the beta waves, it is the wave when we are actually conversing with a people, with people. So it is the waves what is produced during an active conversation. That is in the states of uh, when a person speaks, its beta brain waves are increase there, there is an increase in the amount of the beta waves as if I am speaking now so my brain if it is connected to an EEG machine what the maximum waves what will be produced it is the beta waves and it is the wave which is produced during the heightened state of alertness logic and critical reasoning so whenever we are going to give a logic or a critical reasoning for a particular thing or in states of high alertness it is the beta waves what are produced so as i've already mentioned it is the wave that is actually produced during an active conversation so in becoming more social the people who want to become more socialized they there has to always be an increase in the beta waves and beta waves is going to be beneficial for those people who actually want to become more social so it is it is going to aid the beta waves they aid in the conversational energy so the skill of the conversation that is the beta waves which help in the it which helps in the aiding of the conversational energy so beta waves are beneficial to those moving on to the next waves that is the theta waves so the theta waves are going to have a frequency range between 4 to 7 hertz and it is basically produced from the hippocampus of the brain and it is the hippocampus the theta uh, waves they are produced when the mind is disappointed so students do remember it is when children they get disappointed then it is when the mind is disappointed that is the theta wave uh, theta waves they are produced and it is also seen in din in when there is a rapid rem sleep so uh, in rapid eye movement sleep whenever it is the in the during the sleep cycle in the upcoming videos i'll be uploading on the different types of sleep so in the sleep when it is the rapid eye movement sleep that is the rem sleep where the vivid dreaming procedure is there where the vivid dreaming occurs in rem sleep it is the theta waves what are being produced by the brain that is it is also produced in the state of hypnosis and lucid dreaming one more thing the waves what are produced during a normal yoga or a meditation it is the alpha waves but when it comes to deep meditation so students do remember when it comes to deep meditation it is the uh, it is the theta waves what are being produced so in barely uh, conscious states whenever just before going to sleep but just before falling asleep and just after waking up from sleep we are not in a perfect state of consciousness so at that moment also at that time also it is the theta waves what is what is being produced by the brain so students do remember it is the theta waves what is being produced just before falling asleep and just after waking up when the mind is not that conscious as it is in a normal waking state so it is when the mind is disappointed it is the theta it is the theta waves and students do remember it is the theta waves what is going to help us to connect to the subconscious it is going to connect to, it to the subconscious state all right so do remember it is the hippo it is the theta uh, waves what is going to connect us what is going to connect our logical reasoning and thinking to the subconscious self suppose if i start believing that i am very handsome or very good looking so on an uh, when i am my logical brain is not going to accept it at the moment so it is the when it is going to get connected to the subconscious level when it is accepted in the subconscious mind that yes indeed i am handsome so it is the subconscious level it is at the subconscious level when it is accepted then as such the it is the theta waves which helps us to better connect and connect us to the subconscious mind so students do remember when in uh, it is the theta waves which helps us to connect 
to our subconscious level and it is in the long forgotten memories whenever we are recollecting about the long forgotten memories we are recollecting the waves what are produced by the brain it is the theta waves and moving on to the last but not the least it is the delta waves so the delta waves are going to have the frequency range between three to five hertz and it is in the state of deep sleep so students do remember it is whenever we are going to have a very deep sleep it is the theta it is the delta waves what are being produced and these delta waves are going to have a certain therapeutic effect so just for instance if i talk of suppose i'm feeling very low very depressed i'm not feeling so well so if i have a good sleep if i sleep on for six to eight hours having a perfect sleep and when i wake up so my mind is all refreshed it is all it's all now feeling very well it's it is not that feeling low as it was feeling uh, before the sleep so whenever we are going to have something very low feeling at heart when very low and saddened and after a long sleep when we wake up we feel energized and fresh it is the delta waves what are being produced after a deep sleep so it the delta waves are going to have certain therapeutic effects and it the heals the disturbances so particularly the delta waves they are going to have a healing or a therapeutic effect so students this here i conclude with my topic of today that is the eeg the electroencephalogram waves or the berger waves students if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further uh, upgraded about my newer videos so students this was a very frequently asked questions in all the pg exams thank you for watching